welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to be working on the Lancer a little bit. Uh, long story short, it's jump timing and now I'm uh, getting ready to pull the 4G94 engine uh, out of it. And well, I'm going to label the wiring as I'm taking it out. That way I remember where it goes once this harness is all slung over and uh, we'll keep going. I, I already don't remember what this goes to. Oh, God. Oh, wait, I think I do. So this is probably not necessary for everybody, but I, I want to idiot approve this, so. Part of me just wants to set this thing back in time and see if it'll run, but everything I've read says that it's an interference engine, so that I would probably do the work and then have to do it all over again. Does it go up or does it go down? I don't break it. I'm gonna break it. Just come on. Oh, there it is. Oh, there goes my marker. There it is. Battle cable's free. Free 99. All right, so I'm gonna drain the cooling system now. There's a little valve under here that I'm gonna turn. Oh yeah, oh whoa. Well. Take the seventh eighth, the seven eighth socket, put that on our gun. Well, if it'll go, get on there. Set it to the reverse. <laughs> All right. Now there's another way to do this where you can use the starter to break the bolt free, but uh, I'm not gonna do that because it's a little risky. So impact. And just like that. And always make sure you have that washer on there. Otherwise you can bottom out the bolt. And uh, if you bottom it out, you can do damage to the crank. So it just comes right on out of there. So I'll put this in the pile with the rest of the parts I've taken off. All right, so now we're gonna work on taking off this lower timing cover. And this, this thing, yeah, come on, get, come on, come on, come on, get, get off of there, come on, come on, get, get out, you kidding me, you freaking kidding me, almost, almost, there it is. There's two more up top, on the top side. So I'm gonna get those real quick. Alright, 
got one more to go. And that one might be easier to get from the bottom with the short. Pardon me. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna fight. Yeah. All right, let me get a ratchet. 10 millimeter. All right, so I just got done taking the uh, crank position sensor off, and this is what I found. Yeah, so you can see all the circuitry. That's just been delaminated. So that's from being hit or whatever. So we'll just pretend like we didn't see that. I have another one, so it's all good. I'm just gonna run through real quick what all I got done, and we'll pick this back up. Uh, maybe tomorrow or the next day so here we go we'll just dive right into it so i'm going to throw the valve cover back on just to keep junk from getting back in there um so we got the wiring disconnected everything's pretty much labeled minus a few little odds and ends no big deal um so i've got all the wiring pushed away i've got the heater core hoses i've got the clamps moved but i left those attached so i've got to pull those We've got the lower hose, lower rad hose disconnected now. I've got the upper rad hose uh, disconnected. Um, so we got the alternator wiring pulled back down in there. And I also got the starter wires pulled and all the wiring is completely disconnected now. Uh, we've got the throttle cable disconnected. All the vacuum lines that are connected to the car are pulled now. Um, we did some work under here. We got the crankshaft uh, pulley off. Uh, oil pressure connect, uh, sensor is disconnected. Um, I've still got to drain the oil. And man, what is going on in here? Uh, I think we just found something. What in the world is that? There's all kinds of broken metal in here. What is all this? I don't know how I missed that before. Well, we've got a mystery on our hands. Why did all that break? Uh, any who's. We'll figure that out later. But I just noticed that. So, hopefully you can see everything I see. Uh, still got to take off the power steering pump. I think we're going to do that now.
the power steering pump off. I just used the lashing strap to strap the AC compressor from the lines. This is probably not the best idea, but whatever, you know. Uh, we gotta get this engine out, so it's really one of the last things I gotta pull. Somebody tell me in the comments where my fucking ratchet is. You son of a bitch. I just had you. Where'd you go? Need you the oh dude. Mm, idiot. Idiot. So we got the power steering pump off, we got the AC compressor off. That's probably all I have time for today. As I do so work full time. Uh anywho, uh yeah, so there it is.
All right, so my GoPro stopped recording again. So uh, we took the starter out and I've got it all on the other camera, but that's kind of just the overview. So we took the inspection cover off down here to get the tor uh, flex plate bolts. Uh, I believe there's four of them. I'm actually gonna set you guys up right here. If it'll stay recording, which it probably won't. So you let me know if there's another one in there. got torque uh, the torque converter bolts out I think we're ready to throw a chain on this thing and start disconnecting the, the rest of the bolts from the engine so I guess we need to go ahead and get the engine hoist up here and I don't know if I should go ahead and pull the hood uh, I might go ahead and just pull the hood got it off but uh engine's out gotta figure out somewhere to put this thing i don't have a pallet i'd love to have a pallet or a tire dang i guess i didn't think all this through now it's time to bring it to the ground so 
So I hope that was a good in-depth video of how to remove the engine uh, from the Lancer. I want to thank you guys for watching and subscribing. I hope these videos have been helpful. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or anything, uh, leave them below. I read all the comments. So it'll be nice to be able to cruise this thing again, hopefully soon. So it's been a lot of fun. I'm going to wrap it up here. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll be back with more. So stick around for that. All right, see you.